Hey loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community, guys. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading here. Um, so let's tap into your collective spirit insights. I've already chosen some um, oracle cards for you just to, I, I did a pre-shuffle off camera, so it doesn't take too long to do um, a, a shuffle. So anyhow, I'm going to jump into your spirit messages, Aries. Um, spirit is asking you to be patient when it comes to the outcome of a decision, situation, or an action. Never give up on your dream, Aries. You're meant to feel challenged. It's helping you grow in ways unimaginable. You're not meant to ever give up on you. Your challenges are molding you to who you know yourself to be at your core. The challenges are helping you explore your purpose. You have a financial opportunity that could be coming up for you. And this is not going to resonate with everyone out there. But your guides and angels are asking you to not give up because you're right there. So don't quit. Whatever this is that you have been working on, Aries, this is not a time for you to quit anything because you're right at the tail end of something like popping off for you. Okay, it's basically what your 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 spirit is trying to say to you. Okay, so your angel number for this month is 8888. If some of you are seeing this number, this is confirmation that this is personal power. Material and spiritual abundance is coming your way. Wealth, resources. Force, balance, confidence, material gain, epic romance, okay, and I know some of you have been looking for that, money and romance. All that is good and pleasant in your life will multiply. Angels are sending the number to reassure you of the prosperity and well-being ahead. Your surroundings will treat you with admiration and respect. Use it for the greater good. And also keep in mind that we are in a universal eight year. So this is about manifestations and abundance and prosperity and wealth and balance. So there's a lot that is unfolding for you, Aries. A chakra that you can work on during this month would be your sacral chakra. Focus on your desires. The number 12 breaks down to a three, which is a number of creativity and connection. So what ways can you get creative to make money, to, uh, to spice up your relationship, whatever that might be for you? desires working on that sacral chakra the sacral is connected to um, your your money your creativity your sexuality your vitality as well some of you may be feeling low energy but this is uh, an opportunity for you to explore yourself and be open be vulnerable as well focus on your goals during this time your goals your passions your desires what is it that you're craving what is going to fulfill you Aries, those are things for you to think about. Those are actions for you to take because it's all about goals. How do you move forward from this? The crystal that you can uh, um, work with during this time, two popped out of the deck. We have watermelon tourmaline is one. If you have that, work with that stone or you can go out and buy that. My heart is open to giving and receiving love. I transform the world around me by focusing on the divine. That is your affirmation here. This watermelon tourmaline is going to help you open your heart to love. It'll help you with feeling unconditional love and support. And it'll bridge the spiritual connection between heaven and earth and increase your romance. And like I said, you have already been focused on romance. And so that's something that is important to some of you. The other card here, this resonates with you, the leopard skin jasper. And your affirmation is, I observe my surroundings and know I am divinely guided. So if you have this stone or if you need to go out and purchase that stone, if that resonates with you, this stone can help you improve your peripheral awareness, become the objective observer, increase consciousness of reactions to others, Increase mental, physical, and emotional flexibility. Okay, so leopard skin, jasper is your other stone. And a message to consider during this time is a win-win outcome is forecast. This is why spirit is saying 
don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on that project that you're working on. Don't give up on that relationship that may seem a little challenging, but there's a lot of love and connection there. Okay, so Aries, I know that you get to the point where you're just tired of fighting. Okay, but some of, some of you are needing to push through some of the challenges. It's not going to always be in your favor during, you know, especially if we're talking about a relationship. It's not always in your favor, but you have to be open to working through the chant through the challenges. A win-win outcome is forecast for you. Okay, your overall energy for this time is the Knight of Air. This is about intelligence, decisiveness, being idealistic, tireless. So this is you pushing forward. Events that occur with great speed. So things are going to be sh moving for you very swiftly. This is the reason why I keep hearing don't give up areas. So things are going to take off. If things have been feeling slow and stagnant, there's going to be some movement that is created. Now this night of air is, um, this night of air is very passionate, very forceful, but making sure that you're not forceful, okay? So keep that in mind as your advice is to make sure that you're not trying to force something to happen. But this is an energy of determination and you're seeking to work through any conflict that may have come up. But this reminds me of your ambition, the action that you need to take, those goals that you need to move towards during this time frame, because you're driven to succeed 100%. But make sure that you're not in that impulsive behavior, which is, this is the night of air. It can be very impulsive. But then I think about your energies as you being an Aries. There's a very impulsive energy that you all, you know, that all resides within you. And you want things to happen right now. So this is like things are going to be moving fast, but you also need to slow down. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So take time to carefully review your opinions or your options, I should say, and any creative solutions that could be coming your way. Okay, I'm also feeling some of you are needing to work on that third eye. You're also very empathic, intuitive, possibly even psychic. So listening to the messages or seeing the messages that are that are being downloaded to, towards you, I do feel like there is there is messages. There are messages that are coming in for you during this time, and it's a matter of are you going to be paying attention to them? Are you going to sit back and um, allow yourself to observe? what you know spirit is trying to convey to you so there's a lot that is on your plate but things are going to take off quickly for you Aries but you still need to slow down in your decision making process and figure out what it is that you are passionate about what are your desires what is fulfilling you um, but there is a lot of personal power that is coming up for you so I'm going to get your cards out and then we are going to clarify each of these cards here okay so we've already had your overall energy all right, so we have um, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords, and then we have the Tower. Okay, mm. yeah. All right, so we'll see what's coming up with this um, energy here for you, Aries. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right, so. We have that overall energy here of the Knight of Air. I'm going to clarify that for you. See what else is coming up for you. Why is the Knight of Air here as Aries overall energy? We have a Death card. There is a transformation. There's things that's going to um, unfold for you rather quickly. I'm feeling uh, for some of you a relationship, and this could show up in friendships for you. This could even be the end of a job that could be coming up. But it definitely feels like things are going to be moving rather quickly um, in as far as the transformation period. And I know it's because, Aries, you've been doing a lot of work internally due to some of the circumstances that you have been enduring throughout the past year, months, however long you have been facing obstacles and challenges, there is going to be a change, okay? You see how the death and the six of wands is here. They're both moving forward. So you're, you're moving past something, okay? Whatever has been feeling stuck and stale and challenging and confusing for you, where you feel like, wow, I just can't get, I can't move forward, there is going to be quick movement that is going to be transpiring for you during this time, okay? And I do feel like with the Knight of Wands, it's going to move you into an energy of feeling like you are accomplished, feeling like you're being seen, okay? 
Um, I do feel a very strong energy from that, especially because the death card is here. You're, you're moving past these obstacles and challenges, these relationships that may have fallen apart. Moving past people who have done you wrong. Moving past a job that may have felt um, very stale, very stuck, something that you weren't uninterested in. Whatever this was, I feel like you, you've done the work, Aries, and the overall energy is that you're moving into something new where you're going to be recognized. And this is that, that message that came up earlier of fun, a financial opportunity that could be on the way for some of you as well. This is you being seen for that, you being a, rewarded, and then you reaching that manifestation, you accomplishing something, because this is all about accomplishment here too with the Six of Wands. So again, you're going to be um, triumphant. Okay, you're victorious, you're making progress, you're building self-confidence as well. You're going to be feeling more successful and happy, achieved. Um, you're going to um, just be gaining a lot of admiration from, from, you know, people, you know, whether that is a boss or your partner. But you're stepping into this energy of becoming a leader, a leader and you're leading by example. Okay, so... This is the energy of you sort of being placed on a pedestal. So Aries, things are definitely shifting in a very major way for you here. So stick with this, okay? Stick with it. Even if it feels challenging, it shouldn't feel challenging to the point where your gut is saying move away from this because it's unhealthy. But just know that, you know, life in general, we're going to have obstacles and challenges. This is just something that is going to help you grow and you're moving past whatever it is that you have been experiencing. We have the Nine of Swords here, an obstacle that could come up for you. So there could be sleep, but it's nice that could be coming up for some of you. There could be anxiety and fears as well that may that may come up. But I definitely feel like there's an energy of you just, it makes me feel like this, this energy that you've been in of uh, mental instability. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Mental instability that you've been in, that you haven't felt balance, you haven't been in alignment, you, you've been in alignment, you have been in this place of stressed, anxious, um, fearful. Those words are coming up, Those and that energy is coming up. You've, you've been disappointed about relationships. People have disappointed you. You have let yourself down because you know that there are opportunities for you to move past things that you feel like you were not strong enough to move past. Um, I do feel like those worries and fears begin to come up for you again, but I do feel like you're trying to move past that and you will move past that. Okay, so if some of you are in a place of regretting something, let the regret grow, go. Know that it was you were exactly where you needed to be to learn that lesson and now it's time for you to move past that energy. We have the Eight of Swords, definitely confirmation that things are moving rather quickly. And we have the Page of Wands. So a lot of your energy here is definitely confirming uh, the cards here. That Nine of Swords just lets me know um, either some of you are dealing with someone who may be of the air and element, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or this is just you with the mind chatter that's coming up, your thoughts that are coming up. Um, but it definitely feels like you may feel a sense of lack but I do feel like it's old, it's residual energy left over from the work that you have already been doing. So I'm hearing change, 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 change. Okay, and some of you are in this place where you need to make a change in your life in order to see more good come into your space. So that obstacle that, you know, some of you are facing is revisiting this energy of the mind channel, the mental anguish and having nightmares. So some of you may be experiencing vivid dreams, lucid dreams, but things that are popping up in your dream state that feels very uncomfortable. It looks scary. Some of you are fighting in your dreams. You're running away from something. You're falling off cliffs. Like I'm, I'm seeing all these visions of things that are happening in your dream. It is your dreams are letting you know where there is some mental instability going on in your physical life, okay? So I do feel like some of you are going to be feeling reluctant to move to the next level. This I'm looking at the Page of Wands, and I always feel a very spiritual energy coming from this Page of Wands because this is someone who is very explorative. I feel like some of you are going to be feeling reluctant to move into this next phase because it is the unknown and it feels uncomfortable. Although for some of you, it may feel uncomfortable and exciting, 
some of you are also fighting having your freedoms because maybe you have been reliant on something or someone and that hasn't worked. I feel like something has come crumbling down and you now have to move past it and it feels uncomfortable. Okay, so whatever that is for you, it feels like an obstacle or challenge that may come up. I'm also getting a little spinning going on, like you guys are just kind of going round and round. Your thoughts are all over the place. Some of you are feeling that energy in your body where you're feeling nauseous. You're feeling the fear coming up. You're feeling anger. Your, your palms are sweaty. Like those are nudges from the universe to let you know that it's time for you to move past whatever obstacle that you have been holding on to. Some of you are just realizing that it is an obstacle and a challenge that you have faced that you need to overcome. But there's a lot of strength in this energy that I'm feeling for you that you will and you can move past this obstacle. OK, so we have uh, where you're headed during this time is the page of Pentacles. See new opportunities that could be coming in for you. This could also be someone coming in to assist you that you can you know, be receiving a loan from a bank. You could be receiving a loan or some investment from someone. Um, but this is, I'm hearing to also watch your money. Okay. So watch your money is, you know, where you're headed. So this may be an energy of you coming into a lot of money, that financial opportunity that's coming up for you, Aries, and you just go buck wild. You know, you've already spent the money before it's in your hand. Make sure that you are being very strategic. You're setting clear goals and being realistic and practical when it comes to your spending. Absolutely. 100%. You have worked you have worked hard and you've gotten to a point where, yes, you should be caring for yourself. It is an act of self-love, but also doing things in moderation. OK, so this could be a person could be coming in that's helping you this page of Pentacles, or this could just be spirit saying that this is an opportunity for you to ground yourself, um, create solid beginnings, set your goals. There's going to be changes in your money, obviously, but make sure that you're realistic about the things that you're investing in the magician. OK. Magician is here, which I feel like is your energy. Um, I'm feeling that from here because you're creating something brand new. The Queen of Cups is here as well. I love this energy here um, as you where you're headed because you're creating a lot of stability, mental stability, uh, clarity. Um, you're taking all of the elements of life, of elements of your life, and you're trying to find emotional balance with that. Okay, so... Um, this lets me know that you're really focusing on yourself during this time. And I love this energy. I'm a huge advocate of self-care and self-love. And I do feel like it's something that you're manifesting. There are a lot of things that you're going to be creating is where you're headed. Whatever your focus is, is will you, where it will be magnified, is what Spirit is saying. Where your focus is, is where it will be magnified. Okay. This Queen of Cups energy, it is someone, I feel like you know that things are shifting for you, okay? I'm also hearing some of you are creating a new dynamic between you and your mother, or some of you are manifesting becoming a mother as well. And that may show up where, you know, it could be, be open to what that looks like. That could be maybe you're not birthing your own child, but maybe you become a, a, an adoptive parent, a foster parent whatever. And this could be you adopting a pet as well. But there is there is a shift in uh, a, a, a dynamic. But I do feel like there's a you're caring more for yourself and other people. You're becoming more emotionally stable. When, and I know that that's something that you all have been seeking after some of the things that you have been enduring. Make sure you're going you're being in the flow. Be gentle with yourself as well is is very important. OK, so make sure you're not speaking to yourself in harsh ways, talking about your body, talking about the things that you've been through. Let's focus on where you're headed. OK, remember, we had that death card and that six of wands that's here. They're both looking forward. So I do feel like looking forward when it comes to your money, it comes to your career, there's going to be a change. So keep moving forward. Let yourself move past these obstacles. Don't let yourself, don't stifle your freedom due to fear. Okay. So we also have the, um, the three of pentacles. So this is uh, what's happening in your near future is you collaborating and you feeling supported in your relationships and your work. Um, you're feeling supported with um, whatever this is. OK, but I do feel like there's an opportunity for you to um, do some planning, planning things out instead of 
that erratic energy of or that impulsive energy of jumping into something just because you're in Aries and you're just like, I'm excited, I'm going to do it right now. But take a step back and sort of think about things before you're making a commitment to something that you're not able to uphold. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of hard work that's that you're going to be putting into something, but I do feel like it makes you happy. Whatever this is, it is going to be fulfilling for you. So the Three of Pentacles energy. So again, working with people or working out relationships, working out friendships, whatever this is for you, um, Aries, I do feel like a lot of support. The Hermit, and then we have the Queen of Wands. So we just pulled that Queen of Cups energy. So let's feel into this. Some of you I'm hearing are wanting to um, maybe want to retreat to what felt comfortable before, but Spirit is asking you to know, move past that. The Queen of Wands energy here, this is an energy of you, this is you, being exuberant and vibrant about life again. That's what I'm feeling because you have been feeling down and out. But there is an energy of courage and determination that's coming through. Remember, we pulled the desires card in the beginning in your pre-shuffle. This is about what do you desire? What brings you What brings you joy? Okay. Um, so you may find yourself more social. And that's why this Three of Pentacles is here. You're going to find yourself more social, a social butterfly, a socialite, whatever, out at events, networking, connecting with people, um, letting your light shine from within because some of you have dimmed your light. Some of you have been in a herm in hermit mode where you've felt like you have been in the darkness or you have um, felt an in a dark energy around you. But I do feel like you're coming out of that and um, it's because you have support. It's because you have family, friends, whoever that is helping you through something. Okay, so no, so lean, lean on your support, Aries, is, is what Spirit is saying. Lean on that support. Take advantage of it because it is there. And I feel like whomever is supporting you, they want to support you wholeheartedly. Okay, so ask for the help. Your advice is the Page of Swords. So more swords energy, either you being in your head or some of you are dealing with air energy here. But there is an, ele an element of curiosity that is coming up for you. And that's okay. You know, allow yourself to be curious because through your curiosities, you find your passions and, and your desires. Okay, so um, don't stifle yourself. Don't stop yourself from feeling free in some sort of way. Okay, it feels like freedom is a very big theme for you during this time. Personal power, win-win outcome is forecast for you. We have the Two of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. So a lot of water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this could be emotions around a relationship. This could be thoughts around a relationship. Um, Spirit is asking you, I'm hearing, to be open to not quit, but not quit, no, don't give up. Some, that, and that message was your spirit message at, at the beginning. But some of you may be curious about someone, this is what I feel, curious about a love interest or someone that's in your circle or someone that you have been watching. I'm feeling a very curious energy that is coming up. Um, it, and it feels very lighthearted. It feels fun. Maybe there's some flirting that could be going on here. The spirit is saying to just be open to it. Okay. So I'm hearing like shoot your shot. <laughs> shoot your shot if that's what you want to do here, Aries. Okay. But um, again, I'm going to pull one more card on this. The five of cups. So this is an energy of possibly you have been regretting something. So we go from the two to the page to five. Um, so this could be an energy of you have, could have been regretting something or you're disappointed around something. But I again, I'm still like I'm still feeling a spark of curiosity that's coming up that either you're watching someone or someone is watching you, Aries. And I know we've said this sometime like not last year that someone's like kind of spying on you. Um, and it could it be it's someone from the past that is still watching and checking in to see what you're doing. And maybe it is that they're regretting leaving you. Um, they're regretting that something didn't work out between you and them. Okay. But I do feel like that there was a strong connection between the two of you. But then I feel like curiosity could have also got in their way. Well, maybe they stepped out. 
maybe they stepped out or something and now they're regretting the situation. This could also be your energy. But I do feel like Spirit is asking you to move on from something that doesn't feel comfortable to you. And don't set yourself up for failure by going back to someone who did harm to you in some sort of way. You hear the sirens. <laughs> You hear the sirens like it is imperative for you to hear this message. And it's it's funny how sometimes I I feel like I hear the sirens every time I'm doing a reading for a specific sign. So Aries, this is a warning, like an alarm. This is like an alert, I should say, for you to wake up, pay attention to whatever this is and, and let it go. Let this go. OK, because. There's a lot of going back and forth energy that I'm feeling and spirit is just asking you to just let this go for sure. OK, so this could be an energy or emotion that some of you are holding on to. And for some of you, this may be an, may be a person that you may be feeling in your gut that isn't right for you because it may seem like a very strong love connection. But then there's something that is being hidden. OK, but it's time for you to, to get to the root of the issue or let it go okay your final outcome is the tower energy and this could be something that feels uncomfortable for some of you if you are experiencing some sort of spiritual awakening or there's some sort of change that is happening in your life and for some of you that change is good change but remember I've said don't stifle your freedom so if you need to create a space for you to move away from something or someone, this is an opportunity to do it. And it may feel uncomfortable for you. It may feel shocking. There may feel um, you may feel negative energy coming up or this person is could be could be um, exuding a negative. I don't want to say exuding, but they could be um, what's the word that I'm looking for projecting. They could be projecting negativity onto you as well this is scorpionic energy so some you could be dealing with the scorpio three of cups and then the hangman so this makes me feel like a relationships there could be something that you might see that you are going to have to make a decision to let it go walk away from it deal with the challenge whatever this is but it definitely feels like a, a lot like almost like an explosive energy and maybe it's something that you experience in your personal life and maybe you have you know the three of cups is you know your support your support system that's there there to help you but I, I do feel because the hangman is here it feels like an energy where you're going to recognize something about someone or multiple people that are in your space and I feel like you're going to have to make a decision to make a change in some sort of way or there's going to be a certain change that happens because the universe is setting you up for success and unfortunately when the universe is always working in your favor when you're overcoming challenges and obstacles that you have been through you're that also comes with releasing other baggage in the form of people thoughts so i feel like either thoughts or your emotions or your people or people around you, you're going to have to release them for your life in order to get to this next stage, in order to get to this win-win outcome. This is your life, so I don't know how it's going to show up for you. But I do feel like you're creating, a, there's a lot of growth that you have experienced and possibly a lot of growth that you had have experienced in relationships. And it's forcing you to see things a little bit different. But there has to be a change somewhere. Strength card is here. Now we have another major arcana, the hangman and the strength card. So you're going to have to find the strength and the courage to make a choice that's going to be best for you. Spirit is asking you to make sure that you compose yourself and be patient because that tower card can make you feel like you want to explode, whatever this is. But you have to really focus on your inner strength your inner patience. And I know I said earlier, be patient. Okay. That was part of your message is be patient. Also be compassionate with other people. Okay. You, Aries, you sometimes have a tendency to just cut things off because it didn't work in your favor instead of talking about things. Okay. So this may be a different 
you may be experiencing a different kind of growth where you're able to accept the challenges and to work through them as opposed to just walking away from them. OK, so that is your final outcome. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Let me know if you like this reading, the style of this reading, if this resonates with you. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit that all notification bell here. I would greatly appreciate it. It helped me in the algorithm. Um, make sure you like and comment. As I said, share this with your family and friends. Happy birthday to you, Aries. I meant to say that in the beginning of the reading. I hope you have been enjoying your Aries season, your birthday season. Many blessings to you and love and light. I will see you guys very soon, guys. Peace.